in this book, um, Honey Davenport, who will be here tonight. During the month of Pride, Emily Johnson, the owner of For the Love LV in downtown, says she was looking for a drag queen story hour to take her four children, but she says she couldn't find one here in Southern Nevada. Encourage them creativity and um, inclusivity and um, reading. So Johnson says she took matters into her own hands and created her own story hour. Season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Wow. She invited a well-known drag queen known as Honey Devonport to read and perform for children at her store Thursday evening. I had to present opportunities for them to see people that are not like them, um, are not like us, um, in all settings, right? But Johnson says her intentions to promote inclusivity <laughs> took a drastic turn, facing backlash on social media. This is like very, this one's pretty bad. And it says, need to get a stake out, a lot, stake out a lot of wood under it. Tie the her heretic to the stake and light it on fire, just like the good old days. And even just this morning, your business received a message. Do you mind sharing what that message oh, was? Oh, yeah, just I got a text on our work phone that said burn in hell. You would take your kids to something like this. Yes. I also met Carla Rodriguez. She says she would take her little ones to an event like this. When it comes to something like this, it's just going to a simple storytelling with a person. That's it. That's all it is. I don't see nothing wrong with that. No, you done. Meanwhile, Imani Fryson says her kids are too young for an event like this and worries it could confuse them. Like, I don't want them getting the wrong idea or wanting to go, like, do and follow what that person may be doing just because that person's there in front of them, you know? Montana is the first state to ban people dressed in drag from reading books to children at public schools and libraries. There are also bills in Florida and Tennessee trying to do the same. We're, we're doing one of the very first drag storytelling hours here in Las Vegas. I talk with Honey Devonport, the drag queen performing at Thursday's event. They say during these times in our country, events like this are essential to our humanity. It's really pivotal to show representation of um, what it likes to be, full, what it's like to live a life that's fully expressed. Johnson says she hopes parents look at her event with an open mind. Drag itself is an art. It's separate than, from someone's sexuality. Um, and so, or sex in general, right? And so when you take just a drag queen out of an adult setting, it's just a beautiful princess. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Abel Garcia.